good fight. And, I mean, you know, you, you didn't you didn't pay you didn't pay for anything. You know, your house was paid for, your rent, your your utilities were paid for. You basically just showed up and did what you do. And and uh, you know, but when I look back throughout my career, I was very fortunate. I um, you know, I got to make a lot of money even in, in leagues that were I probably shouldn't have. You know, you know, going back to the Danbury Trashers. I mean, you know, there was money going around there that was kind of getting floated around. So there was what was that uh, the UHO? Yeah. That was the UHL. You know, that was the year of the Danbury Trashers with the with uh, old Jimmy Galante, you know. And I mean, okay, he, yeah. must, he must be aware that he he. That's the one they're making a, a documentary on. Um, he was had links to the Italian mafia, and and uh, <laughs> you know, so it was it was quite a ride there, you know, making big money and having a, a t- team like that, you know, guys like Brad Wingfield and Frank Bialowicz, <laughs> Dave McIsaac. Mike um, Rupp was there for fourteen games. It says. Yeah. Mike Rupp was there, yeah. There was a lot of guys. Stephen Pete was Stephen there. Stephen Pete, yeah. I just saw his name. Kid, yeah, they were bringing some of the toughest guys in hockey there, you know, because it was it was the year of the lockout. So we we had a a really fun experience there. I mean, I you can't even explain it. it. Was like it was like a movie. I always compared it to the Sopranos. I don't know if you guys watched the Sopranos. Or <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it, it was uh, it was quite a journey. Um, you know, quite an experience, and you know, they you know, with all the bad things said about Jimmy, he was was an, an, an awesome man to us and treated us like gold. So I, I have nothing but respect for that guy and his son, AJ. Um, and like I said, I'll be going there in a few weeks to be doing an interview for the Netflix documentary. So that's pretty cool. And, uh, you know, I'm going to run into my old buddy, Big Brad Wingfield, and, uh, and go from there. We hope you enjoyed that clip from one of our prior 4,000 and counting episodes. You can catch the rest of the episode on all your favorite platforms. Now, don't forget, while you're here, subscribe. Put the notification bell on and you will be getting more 4,000 and counting clips right to your YouTube channel.